out. That's how homies were the hardest. Cool. I got the track earlier today and I wrote my stuff because I knew I was going to the studio later. It usually starts with the chorus with me, that's the way I write. So as soon as I got into the studio, I just kind of wanted to show Arthur what I did. He's the producer and I want to show Rich Kid what I did. Sun definitely has, yeah, you know I mean, a flow that's in the pocket. You can never tell him like, you know, what I mean? his flow is off. His flow is always on. You know, what I mean, he always has a knack for finding the melodies for hooks. And he's becoming a, like a very good writer, like in terms of like building, you know, what I mean, a, a hook and a verse that you know, what I mean, are catchy and stay in your head. Don't change it, don't we kind of just edited my chorus actually for like the first like half hour, 45 minutes, just kind of going over it and just trying to make it sound better. family in the studio that's why I was so cool man like I've known Rich forever I've known Arthur forever and just to have all of us in the studio creating music man was just it was just cool man it was a special moment to me. B was Arthur MacArthur's very frequent collaborator of mine you know what I mean I work with him a lot he knows how to you know what I mean come with a certain sound that's you know musically just full and, and, and you know what I mean and beefed up like that sound where it's like you don't even have to put nothing in it. Arthur's just got this crazy, crazy, crazy talent for just bringing like super poppy, melodically pleasing uh, instrumentals to the spot. I had like eight bars that, you know what I mean, like I wrote to the beat earlier and so I just wanted to get to the studio to kind of finish the vibe. I mean like just finish the whole story so it's just like like I know what, what, where everything's going, you know what I mean? I heard the hook while he was doing it, I was finishing, putting the finishing touches on the verse and stuff, and I was like, okay, now I know the verses and the hooks are in sync, and plus you need to kind of end your verse a certain way, so when the hook comes in, it's just like it flows properly. This one is the bridge, the city, native in the city, they're hooking me down, bust three shots, my rock piece from the Jumpin' legend in the and the one sinking on my ghetto graduation for my city on my back like a knapsack iron sack in the street letting these critics like I'm a black Mac truck every time I go I'm getting mad up Rich Kid is like just a real MC he reminds me of like one of the young he's like a young version of like those old soul MCs like the Rock Kims and you know when Talib Kweli first came out like everyone was looking at him like oh my god like you know what I mean he's one of those dudes he's just got that old soul to his uh to his lyricism, and I think that's really cool. Cook up food, some of them already do. I'm thinking grown now, even though I'm known now. Everywhere I go, I hold it down for uh, my hometown. Uh, I know we the guy in this you. And I think that having my kind of like more like poppy flair with the singing and the choruses and the raps and stuff, and then having his juxtaposition with you know the more the more harder joints and all that kind of stuff. I think we set like a really cool like. I think there's just a real cool like line between us and when we come through on tracks it just, I don't know, matches something. Too many accolades, baby, I can't leave. Why should I, shit? Why would I? I'm these youngest inspiration. If I said goodbye, what do you think of that one? We always approach, like, yeah. you know, eating a verse in, in the same kind of manner, like just going straight at it. 
you know, straight at the jugular type of shit. In my hometown, hometown, where my mama at. 